Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. I am still Cedric and today we are gonna talk about the last beer in the Cara saga, the original Cara beer. Um, it's the Cara Pils from Colruyt. Now I already told you guys the story about Cara. I'll link it through somewhere above here. But unlike the Cara Blonde and the Cara Rouge that are actually rebrands of the Mayeur beers, uh, which I probably didn't say in both those videos, <laughs> um, this is the original. Now, yeah, what can I say about this? It's brewed, I think, currently at Martens Brewery, um, but it has changed breweries for about six times because, yeah, the, the cheapest brewer always wins the contract. So this is gonna be a very short video and we are just gonna dive into the tasting. <coughs> As I told you guys, uh, this is a very cheap beer. It is a Pilsner. It is very popular with uh, young people, with homeless people, with many kinds of people. And as you see, I am not using my traditional tasting glasses. I am using a Schubelisch, in this case, Pils glass. This is my favorite Pilsner glass. Not as we say a Prinske or a Burke or in Holland a Vaasje. Uh, I like the one with the ribs because, yeah, in the other glasses your beer warms up four times as fast. And I just like the weight and the, the feel of this glass. And I think Cara Pils from a tasting glass. Eh. Actually, this beer is uh, practically always drank out of the can or the bottle. <sighs> so, we have a blonde beer, category two, whatever that may mean. Ingredients, water, 16.7% malted barley, glucose syrup, hop extract, so no hops, but extract and coloring. Okay. tastes, uh, smells Pilsner-like. Now I do have to be honest and I got this beer chilled very cold um, and it is a 4.4% Pilsner, a lager, so I'm very curious what that gives. But even with bad beers, uh, the colder you make it, the better it's gonna taste or the less you're gonna taste of it. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad beer because as Belgians and mainly Flemish people have the tendency to call something bad or crap if it's uh, cheap or if it's not ours, <laughs> like Heineken. Uh, of course, being from, from Flanders and especially from Antwerp, we do like laughing with Heineken, but I honestly can't say that's a bad beer. This actually smells pretty good. I'm gonna have a sip from the can because that's how it's meant to be drink. Oh, that's actually quite all right. I'm gonna leave a tiny bit in there. So, it pours decently, it is very, very, very clear. Oh, I think this is even lighter than Vedette, it's almost colored water. Well, basically beer is colored water, but some nice white foam. This is how we always say, a beer has to be tapped. Uh, Nice bubbling, nice purling. So for all intents and purposes, I would say this is a beautiful Pilsner beer, nicely poured. Yeah. Not much of the scent left. Hmm. Actually kind of like the smell though. It uh, smells hoppier than I expected. It smells a bit more bitter. Um, but that might be due to the, the use of extract instead of hops or pellets. Now, 
I'm gonna kill some illusions here. Um, I can't think of one brewery in the whole of Belgium that uses fresh hops. Yeah, maybe two or three, like Kragelade or something. But practically no brewers use hop flowers, and especially not fresh hops. Um, almost everyone uses pellets. There's nothing wrong with that. Using extract, well, many brewers use, use extract, uh, often as an addition to the process. Some use only extract. Uh, many home brewers <laughs> use home, uh, extract because it's just easier and cleaner. But honestly, I, I have a chemical background and I can't really say that I have a problem with using extract. Uh, I would like to know if they use extract or hop flowers or hop pellets. But Okay, let's be clear, this is not the best Pilsner I ever drank, it's also not the worst, it's not even bad. If I am presented with the choice, I will always go to a Stella Artois or a Bavik Super Pils or Sass Pils or some other uh, obscure, not very known, very well known Pilsner. Um, but also internationally, I like uh, Estrella Dam and uh, I like Lashko and all those things. Every country has different Pilsners and they always have the slightly more bitter one, the slightly uh, sweeter one. And everyone has a preference. I like a slightly more bitter Pilsner like Stella Artois or like uh, multi Pilsners like the Bavik and the Sass. But as a standard Pilsner beer, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Taking into account that this is about one euro per liter, whereas uh, Jubilee, Stella Artois are, oh, I don't know from the top of my head, but I think it's about three and a half to four euros per liter and they are gonna raise prices uh, at the end of this year. Yeah, taking that into account, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this beer. I actually don't even have any funny backstories or anything. Um, so this might be the shortest video I've ever made. I do have one fun side story, yeah. Um, I mentioned that the Cara Blonde and the Cara Rouge are actually rebrands of the Mayeur beer, also commissioned by Colrad. Um, they actually wanted to rebrand Cara Pils, <coughs> but they didn't. Uh, mainly because Colrad Group has their own house brand, their discount brand, that's called Everyday. I like the last has 365 and I see a tendency there. But Cara Pils has such a cult status, as I said in the previous video, that people wanted to hold on to it. So a bunch of students uh, took it to Facebook and to the internet in general um, and started a campaign to keep the name Cara Pils. I'll put it somewhere here. Cara can be every day. Um, so Colroyd Group uh, understood the message and they kept it Cara Pils. Um, yeah, props to them for listening to the customers. Honestly, I don't think that it would have sold like one can less if it was called every day because cheapest is cheapest. But yeah, I also think that if you compare this to the other, uh, like we say the white brands or the house brands like the, the 365 from uh, the last and, and the all the cattle squell and all those things. I actually don't think that Cara is the worst uh, 
and actually like Kettleskell from Aldi uh, is also brewed at <laughs> Brewery Martens. Uh, so they often share breweries. But yeah, I think this is, I'm not gonna call it a premium beer, although the can literally says premium beer. Um, no, but this is a nicely brewed Pilsner. Nothing more, nothing less. Very, very average, very, yeah. There's a reason why you see this at carnivals and festivals and anything. Uh, so, cheers, I'm gonna leave it at that. As usual, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you wanna see more, click subscribe and you'll get notified if you hit the bell icon as well. Um, if you have any remarks, let me know in the comments, any questions, any Carapils stories. I cannot imagine having no Carapils stories. Um, if you are familiar with the karaoke principle, meaning uh, Kara dash OK, where you sing a karaoke song and then you get a free Carapils. Um, yeah, that's bound to have some good stories. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you are now. Take it to your hometown and organize that. Uh, if you don't have Kara Pils, do it with your local uh, discount brand Pilsner. A lot of fun, really. Better than beer bowling. Cheers, you guys. See you in the next video.